Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Jonathan, and you are watching Science Moves channel. And today, I'm going to simplify this lesson for you. The potential and kinetic energy. All right. Let's get started. So, we, will, we could agree. We could all agree that energy is the ability to do work. And that's uh, how it is. Without energy, we can't do anything. Definitely. Right? And here we go. There are two types of energy. We have potential energy. We have kinetic energy. So, in today's video... We're going to determine potential and kinetic energy. I'm going to give you some sample problems on how to determine potential energy, kinetic energy. And uh, I'm going to give you more time to practice. All right. So stay tuned. So we say that kinetic energy is dependent on the mass and the speed speed of an object. So I'll put it this way, all right? Like what I always do, I'm going to simplify this for you. So picture one is the potential energy, the position of the object, all right? Although this, this object right here is uh, a stationary, well, you will say, well, that's a potential energy. Once you've released that, it will change into kinetic energy and uh, the object will fall. There you go. So this is kinetic energy, potential energy. And like what I promised you, I'm going to give you some sample problem to do that. Okay. So this is how we calculate kinetic energy. All right. What's the formula? What's the equation? So sometimes we call it KE or EK. So for this video, to minimize confusion, we're going to use KE, potential kinetic energy. And what's the formula? One half mv squared. That's it. One half mv squared. Or you can say you can write 0 0.05 mv squared. Okay. We already know m is for mass of the object. And V is the velocity, all right? And guys, don't forget this. Don't forget this. Your teacher will always ask you to write the unit, okay? So the SI unit for energy, joule. So like a capital J, all right? So joule is a kilogram times meters seconds. Let's try this, okay? So for this uh, example, we have, we have 1,200 kilograms automobile is traveling at a velocity of 100 meter per second northwest. What is the kinetic energy? Here we go. Again, what's the equation? Ke, kinetic energy, 0.05 mv squared and so we already know that we have 1200 kilograms of the automobile and it's running or the velocity is 100 meter per second square okay so we'll do a little multiplication right here and you're gonna have like six million kilograms times meter per second square and you're gonna have joule so this here you don't have to worry about Replace it with J. Capital J stands for joules. Okay? That's simple, guys. You don't have to worry about your problem. All right? Now it's your time to practice. A bicycle with a mass of 14 kilograms, let's say. All right? Uh, not so heavy. It's made up of carbon fiber, maybe. All right? metal alloy let's say for example it's not too heavy and it's traveling at a velocity of three meter per seconds is and how much is the kinetic energy 
here we go. You can pause this video and try it for yourself. All right. So if you have 14 kilograms a bicycle running three meter per second square, you're gonna have 63 joules. Remember, 63 kilograms a meter per second square. That is equivalent to joule, all right? Energy, and the unit is joules. Did you get it right? You can comment down below if your answer is correct or you are uh, having some, uh, you know, uh, clarification. Let me go ahead, okay? Now, this is the potential energy. This is the stored energy. Uh, going back to that illustration, all right? Going back to that illustration. This is the potential energy, if you remember, okay? Depending on its position. So, again, depending on the position, that's a stored energy. You have a bow and arrow, but you have not released it, but you stretch it already. That's potential energy, okay? Okay, the amount of energy contained in an object at rest. This is an object at rest, but like what I said, you already draw that uh, bow and that arrow is ready to go. So that's potential energy, okay? And this is how we determine the potential energy. Like what I do, I always do, I will give you the equation or the formula, potential energy equals mass times gravity times height, okay? So for this example, we know that M is uh, mass, yeah, the unit is kilograms, G is the force of gravity, and this is always constant, okay? 9.8, or maybe your teacher will use a 10, okay? And that's perfectly okay, because sometimes we round it, uh, it up, so that's perfectly all right. H is for the height, all right? And the same, uh, the SI unit for energy is joules. Here we go. This is an example problem. So we have a flower pot with a mass of 15 kilograms and they are sitting on the window 15 meters above the ground. 15 meters above the ground. That's a lot, right? That's how high. And so uh, we could uh, assume, we could uh, just uh, replace with the value. So we have 15 kilograms, gravity is 9.8 and the height is 15 meters. And so we're gonna arrive into 2,205 joules, all right? So remember, potential energy, mass, gravity, height, okay? And it's time for you to practice once again, okay? Uh, it's always good to practice, all right? Uh, this is the best time for you to make mistakes. All right, and so that when you have that assessment or test, you can nail this problem on your own, okay? So, what's the answer? There you go, 1,470 joules, all right? Again, what's the difference between this potential energy and kinetic energy? Potential energy is the stored energy. As simple as that, okay? Kinetic energy is the inner energy in motion, okay? So young scientists, guys, if you can able to harness this type of energy, you're gonna be famous. You're gonna be, you're gonna earn a lot of money, all right? Because there's a lot of um, application because a lot of engineers, mechanical engineers, scientists, they are harnessing potential energy to be able to, to, to convert them into uh, another type of energy. Let's say we can electrical energy, all right? Uh, you can convert whatever energy is available uh, in your location, 
So that's the great challenge for everyone. Okay. Uh, once again, this another illustration of kinetic energy and potential energy. And if you are going to uh, even amusement park sports, they use this uh, uh, as the best application for the sports. All right. So once again, uh, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you find value in our lessons, uh, please hit uh, like, please subscribe if you are new in my channel, and you can comment down below. All right, please comment down below on um, uh, what uh, lessons uh, you would like me to do for you and so that I could be of help in your academic, uh, in your assessment maybe, maybe you're doing homework, it wasn't so clear, please let me know. All right. Once again, you are watching Science New Channels with Teacher Jonathan. All right. Bye, guys.